Behringer X32 Digital Console. Uh, we're going to explain the uh, routing of the monitors right now. Okay, first start with the back of the console. Looking at the IOs, as you'll notice, I'm feeding this monitor from out one. Not the mains, left and right or anything. Out one. Okay, that having been said, select routing, <laughs> and you'll notice on the screen, uh, on the left hand side analog outputs, you have output 1, output 2, etc. Well the select or the actual the highlighted output 1 refers to the back of the console out 1 that we just saw. Um, towards the right here you'll see output signal and selected or highlighted is mix bus 1 which coincides with mix bus 1 in the master section. Uh, previously we selected 664 on the pre-config which meant the first six were monitors, they're pre fader So bus 1 goes to output 1 <laughs> to the console and we'll set up a quick mix, monitor mix. Go into selecting one, send zone fader, and then we're going to bring up the music in that mix. So you can see that monitor, monitor mix one is live. Here's the master. Um, if we go over to whatever reason by default one goes to one two goes to two etc if we for some reason wanted to output one to come from hail from monitor two instead select it and we click it it shuts off it's no longer output one is no longer being fed by monitor 1 instead is being fed by monitor 2 and if you select that you can notice there's nothing in the console going to it only to monitor 1 so go back in and we'll take output 1 and associate it to bus 1 click and there it is she's back the end